given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe Hello and welcome to Seek Truth and Speak Truth Good day to you all I hope you're enjoying it on this lovely rotating oblate spheroid um, I often get asked, what was the one thing that made you realise the earth is not flat? Um, and I often mention moon observations, uh, and I struggle to put into words what I actually mean by that. So I've just noticed a Professor Day video with some explanations and sort of images, which does help. And it destroys flat earth in about three minutes. Um, so if you are a flat earther and you watch this, please try and explain to me how the earth is still flat after watching what Professor Dave explains. Um, you may say, oh, the moon is self-illuminating. Uh, it's a hologram. We are getting deep, deep, deep into unproven conspiracy theories there again, when we know that the moon is a physical object. Um... It doesn't self-illuminate itself. Why does it always just illuminate the part that faces the sun? An experiment you can do, which uh, Wolfie did, that I've seen, is hold up a ball during the day when you can see the sun and the moon. When you hold the ball up, it will show the exact phase that you see in the sky. How does the shadow on this ball know how to replicate the shadow on the moon perfectly if it's a hologram or if it's self-illuminating, how does that shadow on that ball know to match the moon perfectly? That is 100% proof that the sun illuminates the moon. So it cuts that point out completely. So yeah, we're going to get on to Professor Dave's explanation now. So instead, let's try some proofs that have nothing to do with science at all. There is no challenge. There is no prerequisite information. You just have to listen, acknowledge that the logic is airtight, and then cry yourself to sleep. Are you ready? Here comes one now. What is this object? It's the moon. We've all seen the moon. We've seen it many times. Look at all of these pictures of the moon. What do they have in common? They all show precisely the same features. We all see the same face of the moon. It doesn't change from night to night, and it doesn't change throughout the night. There is no denying this. You can't shout CGI. You can't cry conspiracy. It's the moon. We can all see it with our own eyeballs. It's there, and it always looks like this. Now let's place the moon above a flat disk and let it float around in the little magic circles you like to imagine. If the earth was flat, would we all see the same face of the moon? Here is someone standing in one spot looking at the moon. They see this. Here is someone standing in another spot looking at the same moon. They see this too. And this person. And this person. You get the idea. So is this possible? No. Because that's not how objects work. People on the opposite sides of an object can't see the same face of the object. Go get two of your little buddies and have them stand on opposite sides of you. Can they both see the front of your face at once? No. A spherical moon over a flat earth is not consistent with reality at all. So is it two-dimensional with the same face on both sides? Then anyone but these two people would see a different shape. So no. Is it pointing down like a spotlight? Then it would change shape as it passes by and only appear circular when directly overhead. So no. Is there any way we can make this work on a flat earth? No, there is not. So how, pray tell, do all people see the same face of the moon? Because earth is a sphere and the moon goes around the earth. It is tidally locked with the earth, with one face always pointing towards the earth. That's why everyone sees the same face of the moon. And that's the only way that everyone can see the same face of the moon. And guess what? The direction the moon is pointing even correlates with the observer's latitude. Isn't that something? Whether at the North Pole, South Pole, or anywhere in between, the orientation of the face of the moon that we all see will reveal your latitude on the spherical earth. So, what do you think of that? Um, to me, there is no question. Like I say, you have been told you cannot look up, and the reason these 
flat earth zealots have told you that is because it is the easiest way to confirm the shape of the planet that we live on. Um, the moon is not self-illuminating. Uh, look up Wolfie, and he is great also, as well as Professor Dave, at destroying flat earth. I know you don't want your world destroyed. You want the earth to be flat. You want to feel like you have hidden and special knowledge. I did at the time, but I now tell you that you are you are special, but you do not have hidden knowledge. I'm sorry. Um, it has made you feel powerful. It has made you feel great. It has made you feel amazing. It did me for a little while. But question it, really. Have you told your family? Have you lost friends? Have you lost a loved one over this? Because I know of, of a lot of people that have within the Flat Earth community, not being horrible. Look at what represents you. What are you aspiring to be? Um, I know that it's difficult to turn round and say, I am wrong. Even after I got debunked, I, I, I admitted it to myself, but it took me a couple of days to actually admit to my family I had sat there for hours explaining my reasoning with multiple people, friends and family, and they all started to drift away because I am pushing a false agenda, and that is what you are doing. Um, many people now are saying, oh, I'm not a flat earther, but I know that we don't live on a globe. We do live on a globe. I am sorry that you are wrong. I apologise, but you're wrong. The earth is not flat. This one simple observation proves that. So everything else within flat earth now, what Eric Dubé says, what Dell says, what Nathan Oakley says, what anybody says is a load of effing bollocks. Now, if you want to carry on following these charlatans, please do so. But we now live in 20 20. We have known the earth is not flat for about 2,000 years and you think you're special. It is a joke. It's a very sad joke and I really hope people watching this video take a deep, deep hard look at yourself, question your honesty, your critical thinking skills and you will realise the earth is not flat. Go and check out Professor Dave. Um, I do warn you that, you know, you may be offended by the way he talks about flat earthers. But once you come out the other end, you will understand why these debunking channels take the piss. Because you are so wrong. It's hilarious. I can say that because I was wrong. I was adamant that the earth was flat. And now, look at me. I am sure 100% that we live on a globe, NASA's not lying to us, they're not all Satanists, suddenly life becomes pretty good again. Keep it global guys, keep it global, not flat, and keep coming back. What you giving, that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed.